God, I got the burps. Aww. Okay. So this time... You hungry? So this is the no? don't move function, which is going to fuck me over every single goddamn time. Because... <laughs> Woo! Because that is... And I'm not going to set it down like I've... Like a lot of... I don't know. I, I guess like you could set it down. I think that'd work. But like... I don't know. It just doesn't sound fun to me. Like, I don't know. I think part of the whole challenge would be to, uh, I think I just saw a flashlight. I think I just, um, anyways, I think a whole part of the game is to, like, you know, get fucked over. And then you replay and get something else, so. Uh, okay, totem artifacts. All right. Can you, thank you. Alright, let's see what this one is. Okay, so it looks like we had Mike. Here, let's let's rewatch that. So we have this one. So that one's done. We've seen that one. And then So we have a bird, and that looks like Mike. Alright. Alrighty, so now future is uncertain. Um, so I guess we can I, we will be able to prevent certain things and uh, all that. I'm really excited to see how this game picks up because I hadn't gotten that far yet. But um, yeah, pass is beyond our control. That's uh that's some pretty fucking intense foreshadowing. If I ever saw it. Bag, are you? Oh, he's in that bag, all right. Hello. And there's that dude about to hop on your dick, or I mean ass. Um, I snooped last time, so we're not gonna do that. Yeah, there we go. So now there's a mystery afloat. Chris has a crush on Ashley, methodical, protective, and humorous. So, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. I'm going to blow your mind. All right. So, my mind's already pretty blown going into this. You ass. All right. Oh, man. Wanted poster. All right, so let me read this. Someone thought so. Shut the fuck oh, up! I'm trying. Can I please read? Thank you, uh, Milgram Victor Milgram. Uh, he's a male. He's six foot two. Uh, last known address: Blackwood Pines. That's really specific. That's like the entire fucking resort. <laughs> last scene. Um, oh, fuck. When, what? January, February, Mar March, sixteenth. 1998, wanted in connection with the first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Provincial Mounted Const... That's too fucking big of a word. Fuck that. Uh, basically, so I think that's the guy... We saw fire in the beginning. Maybe that dude has the flamethrower, I guess? Because it said he was convicted of arson, so... Beauties. That comes to mind. Why is this even here? God, I'm like exactly like Chris. Just autistic and saying oh, stupid dude, stuff. Have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna shoot some shit. Got him. These nuts. Woo! I'm on a roll, baby. Huh. Wow. Ah, uh, 
hands are sweaty. Right. Not shooting ticks. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's exactly like me. Oh, those are my moves. I need to find out who fucking plays him because he is beautiful. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh. So I shot this squirrel last time and she got really mad at me, so. Let's not. Sacked. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come so I think on, last time we got actually attacked by a crow for shooting that thing, so. Yeah, that crow attacked us last time, so. Huh. I guess shit really does change. That's that's pretty that's pretty fucking crazy. Um I hate when it changes the camera angles. It's like Resident Evil. Like, I accidentally almost walked backwards. Um. Yeah, let's see. Chris, what you got, bud? Yeah, dude, that dude's fucking... Uh, poor guy. Like, he was just passed out drunk while his sisters, like, died in her... <laughs> One of them's probably a fucking vegetable. They found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Yeah, that is actually pretty, pretty damn, uh, that's pretty Spooks McDuck, man. I don't know how I feel about all that. Oh, real gentleman. Uh, I'm plug in the controller so I don't get that stupid, oh, you need to plug it in notification because, like, I don't know. There we go. Alright. What yeah. a crazy place to set up house. I was gonna say, is he gonna say something or just stare at it? <laughs> this is fucking sarcasm. Dude, like how loaded are his parents to buy a goddamn mountain? Alright, so I'm curious about this. This is in the fucking estate. Like that's weird. Uh. All right. Finally, you coming? Load on in, boys. No, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna get my face eaten by a hobo, but I guess I shouldn't. Cause that doesn't sound too fun, right? Just like going to the prom. Oh my God, <laughs> prom. I haven't seen him <clears throat> so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. No, 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 no. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> Damn, dude. You know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, yeah, well, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. Oh boy, here we go. Story we time. Know each other existed. Yeah. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra. Oh the shit! Front. Puberty. The teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Whoa! Okay, so How interesting. So I got moved to the back. And. And next to Josh. That's how we met. That's so fucking we lame. Friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact. Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. 
right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Butterfly so, attack. Butterfly attack. What the fuck did I just say? English is none. Oh my god. So, Jessica! So, uh, she's the slut from what I learned. Um, if, as horror movie logic goes. Um, cause like, you know, there's the jock, there's the pothead, there's the smoke, or the, I just said <laughs> smoker. <laughs> uh, there's the, dr you know what, whatever. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. I suppose so. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you I, I often down? have strokes. Ready, please? Let's hold this button for an inappropriate amount of time. So how are you guys doing? I'm fucking with you guys. Oh, does she have a purity ring on? That's ironic. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, cannibalism. My bones. So muscle down here. Yeah. I really hope there's cannibalism in this. That'd make me so happy. Hey. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have? Chris. Here? My goodness. <gasps> Gossip. Crush on our good friend and dear Mike. President Michael Mike. But I thought he was with and what's her face? What the fuck? The Asian chick. I wonder. Give that back, motherfucker. Two and die. That's my motto. Oh, world star. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that. That's a rule. Come on, Jack. That was so right? dumb. Totally keep secrets. Whatever. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the library. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Oh. Uh, I mean, you know. Sassy. Uh -huh. Sam. Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Huh. That's cool. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Yeah, I thought... Oh, so they... Oh. This is gonna be a definite triangle. I'm seeing it form already. So, intelligent... Uh, resourceful and persuasive. All right. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. He seems like he's pretty cool. No. Uh, so Where's far. The bell boy when you need one? Uh, from what I've played. Uh, twenty-one, twenty-four, Washington Lodge grounds. We're playing as Matt. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh. Huh. It'd be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Holy Jesus! <laughs> Mike Bliss. Mike Bliss. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Mike, Emily's ex. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your face. So Michael. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> Dude, you weren't even Michael, fucking close there. to him. You couldn't cool. have hit him. Guys. We're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're out in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Um, nothing. Lighten the mood, Em. Yeah, jeez, dude. Like, like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Yeah, you bitch. Oh. Let's be a dick. Michael, you gotta step off. World star! Emily and I are together now. World star! The way it is. World star! I'm not gonna tell you. Gotta knock the fuck out. 